the daily fill returns to Seoul, South Korea. Join us in the next two episodes as we rediscover the land of K-pop, K-drama, and Korean barbecue. If food and travel is your passion, then this channel is perfect for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get your regular dose of the day. So yun na guys, nandito kami ngayon sa isang hidden alley malapit sa Jongno Samga Station. We are hosted by Paul, Jose So Good, Tasha. Hi, nice to meet you. Yumin and uh, Suzanne. Hi, how are you? Uh, we're having a feast over here. Tonight we're having Bosam, it's like a variation of samgyeopsal. Alam niyo naman sa atin sa Pilipinas, hit na hit. Everything Korean. Recently, sobrang daming mga samgyeopsal places. So, this is very similar to samgyeopsal, but instead of gr grilling it, they have it boiled. Makes it a little bit healthier. The pork really shines on its own without any seasoning or whatsoever. So, ganda din naman ang proseso ng pagkain. Wrap the pork in lettuce and then kimchi, and then they have oysters. Mama Alian sa Pilipinas. It's really, really good. Explosion of flavors. Talaga naman napakasara. May iba naman, may iba naman sa sambit sa salsa. Pass it out. You guys think of your first bus out. Bro. So, what do you guys have on your agenda for the rest of the week? of flavors. So we just had yam jia chang, pork spine stew, boiled in a very very spicy broth. Really flavorful, very very salty. Para sa akin similar to the sinigang sa atin sa Pilipinas. Para sa sinigang na buto buto with a lot more meat. Meat falls off the bone. Really tender and it's really really. Sabi ni Paul, kinakain daw nila ito kapag meron silang hangover. Katapos niya, it makes sense. This is a perfect meal after drinking a lot. So, it's really good. Para sa akin, kalasa niya yung sinigang. Alright, there you have it guys. Kakatapos lang namin kumain ng bosam at gamja chow. It was really good. The bosam is a nice alternative to samgyeopsal. So para maiba naman, try nyo yun pag nandito kayo sa Korea. It's really perfect if you're coming with a group so that you can split the bill and it's a nice feast uh, for the entire barkada. Maraming salamat, uh, Paul, for hosting us, for uh, showing us my around. My pleasure. Thank you guys so much for coming. You should definitely check out his channel. So my channel is Taste Soul Good and I'm showing you a lot about Korean food as well as other Asian cultures, including Filipino stuff that I've experienced. So definitely check it out. It for day one of our soul adventure. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good evening, everybody. Day two of our soul adventures. We just finished a day full of activities. And to cap off our night, we're having some himsal right here at Weiji Sangho in Gangnam District. This restaurant serves one of the cheapest unlimited Korean barbecue in the city. 15,900 won, so that's more or less 700 pesos. Unlimited pork barbecue, soy fried chicken, unlimited cold noodles, and unlimited drinks. Considering that we're here in Gangnam District, 700 pesos is not bad at all. Don't expect to get prime meats over here. I mean, for the price, sulit na sulit na siya. Hindi kami order ng cold noodles kasi sobrang lamit na yun sa Seoul. But their soy fried chicken, it's really, really good. Actually, dun pa lang sa fried chicken. So, galing.
Korean fried chicken with beer or they call it chimak. Dito kami ngayon sa Myeongdong. We are at BHC. Better, happier choice. I would mix Korean fried chicken different is I guess the flavorful marinade is fried twice so it's extra crispy. I ordered the sweet and sour chicken 19,000 won so that's more or less 1,000 pesos. We're just waiting for our order. powder na parang cheese powder but manamis na mis maalat alat I think it would have been better if we ordered the spicy version to be mas nakakagana yun but this one's not bad at all it's not really typical fried chicken so it's really good it's really perfect with beer I like the the buttery taste of the chicken yun nga siguro masarap medyo konting spicy syempre tayong mga Pilipino hindi pwedeng papapakit lang Good afternoon everybody, it's our last day right here in Seoul. We're continuing on with our Seoul food trip. We're back right here at the Myeongdong. The kami kuling kakainin ay ang Dak Galbi. Being led by the navigation skills of Vina. Say Vina. hi Vina. Hi. Saan tayo pupunta? Sa Dak Mapples. <laughs> okay, so change of plans. Mukhang sarado na pala yung Jang in Dak Galbi. So, nag-research kami at nakahanap kami ng isa pang Dak Galbi restaurant. We are now at Yugane Dak Galbi and we ordered the marinated spicy chicken fried rice Dak Galbi. 6,500 won. So, you have to order a minimum of three. So, we ordered for four people. So, that's more or less 25,000 won. So, ganito po ang sistema dito sa Yugane. They will cook the duck galbi right at your table. So, we have chunks of chicken, gochujang, onions, leeks, and some other vegetables. You know. 
look at that. It smells really good. <laughs> There goes the rice. Panin. It smells really good. It looks really delicious. And it looks really spicy. Mang ham shang, niingi babo yung flavor ng gochujang at kimchi. Pinalagyan namin ng konting cheese, so it's very, it's very filling. The chicken is really good, really tender. Pero syempre nang niingi babo yung spiciness. Ewan ko kung matutolerate ko ng kanyan sa mga Pilipino, pero kung mahilig kayo sa spicy, at mahilig kayo sa kanin, at mahilig kayo sa kimchi. This is perfect. It's meant to be shared by your barcada so it's a fun food bonding activity. Wow. Maybe spicy bread. And that concludes another food trip episode of The Daily Filth. We hope this video inspired you to visit Seoul. My favorite would have to be Bosam. Siyempre itong Dak Galbi rice. Mine would be Dak Galbi. Samyupsa. Samyupsa. Wow, yeah. It's almost bagu bagu. This is once again the Daily Phil conquering the world one country at a time using a Filipino passport. Until next time, travel, travel now, now, build later. later. Bye, Korea! <laughs>